runes. So something you guys have probably all seen before. It's 645. He's going to summon his illusions, and he's going to go back to lane on his main hero while using both illusions to stack these camps. Now, you may say, BSJ, we've seen this before. That's not all that impressive. He can stack some camps. That's great. But what is he going to do with the illusions next? So first, you know, about 15 seconds later, he's gonna send one illusion to the mid tower, which if there were a high ground ward over here, it would see this area and the tower would attack the illusion. So that means that he's first confirming that there's no ward protecting the ancient area for Tundra, while the other illusion is going to go to the ancients to scout out the fact that there is a stack and effectively scare Topson and Nine Class away from doing the ancients at 720. So while this is all happening at 720, pay attention to that time, Nisha is farming the stacks. So he's not only denying the stacks, scouting out the ward and farming his own stacks, but that's then gonna set up for the play at 840 where the stack is not quite cleared yet because of what he's done. They had just taken an advantageous fight mid. They then invade the Ancients of Tundra and this absolutely sealed the deal for Team Liquid, already up by a large margin coming out of the laning phase. 